Only eight runs the first two games of the series, and Massey looked sharp. One pitch in on Zion Rose, and he strikes out to start the game. Massey with strikeout number 26 of the season. Georgia. And ball four upstairs to JT Benson, who draws the walk. And yet through the first two games of the series, no steals for Louisville. Trying to change that here. Cameron Gill says, uh-uh. Big fist pump from the Demon Deacons catcher as he charges back to the dugout. Little ground balls that got through that ended up costing Louisville so much yesterday. Right on cue, Tellier draws the free pass with one out here in the first. Hard shot into the hole, and it's a base hit for Seaver King. He's now four for nine in the series, and the Deacons have something cooking here in the first, including an RBI signal yesterday. And he drills this one high in the air to center, but the wind is blowing in today, and that's going to keep it in the yard. Runners trying to tag from both bases. Throw to second is going to not be in time as King somehow eluded the tag. Oh, it looked like a double play with that throw in the air, but King with a little bit of a matrix slide into second base. And the appeal that Louisville elects to make is over to first base to see if he left too early. They just completed that appeal and threw it back, and he was ruled safe. Full perspective is a tad different. First pitch swinging Reinish to the gap in left center. Benson back to the fence. It's off the base of the wall. Two runs are in. Benson chugging for third. Now he'll tap the brakes and accept a two-run double as Wake Forest strikes first. Earlier in his career type form, driving the ball to the Gene Hooks field sign, leading the team in triples and thought for a moment he was going to try for another one as the ball got by Benson in center field. Hard carom to the right side. He was expecting it to go left. And Reinish goes, charges hard. Looks like he's got it going together. More runs with two outs for the Deacons and more action on the first pitch as Ballestero takes a curveball off his leg. Rocketed, but right at Hoy at second base, who stabs it for the out. Deacon strike first today. 3-2 pitch, weak wave, and he held up. And it's ball four. Had his shoulder banged up. Wave and a miss, and down goes Humphrey for the second out here in the second. Finishes. Pitch in the dirt, runner takes off, Gill throws out another Cardinal. Run at Cameron Gill at your own peril, Louisville. Short right from his third base position. Strike three called in there on Williams. Good curveball. And it's a solid one, two, three inning for Riley Phillips. The ACC and notice where different pockets of players come from as Ali Saya drives this one toward the right field corner. Chugging for second. He's got the first hit of the day for the Cardinals. And it's a two out double. His first on the hill. And that'll do it. Rose goes down looking, and Falco picks up his first strikeout. So, yes, you know me well. <laughs> Seavers, King swings and misses through strike three. Overwhelmed, <laughs> so I try not to overwhelm people, too. That's a nice Kirk changeup from Riley Phillips, and he strikes out Jack Wene. I'm like, I know what, I'm, what he's talking about. But. That ball off the end of the bat and sneaks in the left field. It's a base hit for Dylan Hoy. His second hit of the series and a leadoff knock for the Cardinals here in the fourth. 3-2. Line past the mound at second base. Hawk flips it to King. Relay to first for the double play. Clear with two outs for Matt Klein. And he grounds it to Hawk at second. Couple steps to his right. And that will retire the side. Delivery as most left-handed pitchers, as a lot of left-handed pitchers do. Reinish is locked in. Right on the screws, he takes it to the wall and right, and it got there so quickly, he'll hold it first as Humphrey does a nice job getting it back in. So how many stitches are there? I go with 108. Ballestero down looking. <laughs> Pitch gets away from Napleton, and Reinish takes second. Deacons have a man in scoring position here with one out in the fourth. This is an official Frisbee. Chop toward the first base bag, and, well, Wake Forest taking exception to a little physicality on the tag from Ryan McCoy. 
Nelson tagged out the disc that we happen to have in the booth right now. And down goes Hawk to retire the side. Brings the heat. Driven toward the gap in right center, and it's off the top of the wall, fielded by Reinish on the ricochet, and it's a leadoff double for Luke Napleton here in the fifth. Trying to spark this Cardinals team. Humphrey rips it to right. That's a base hit. Reinish gets it in quick again, so Napleton held at third. Two on with nobody gone here in the fifth against the Deacons freshman lefty, Hayden Lefew. Well, it's a different situation. 2-2 pitch in the dirt. Kess gets past Gill. Runner comes home to score from third. And it's 2-1. Napleton came bolting home. Read it well. Called strike three. 5 nothing down. They're up 7-5. And then Wake wins the game 16-7. Tellier. Two gone. Freshmen and sophomores. Liner to right, and it was not misplayed entirely. Reinish came in a little too far, but he leaps to hang on with a win, blowing that ball toward the pole. Find his command in the big leagues and fizzled quick. Chopper to the deep hole, it's short. Alisea can't get it there in time as Tellier beats it out for the infield hit. Chop slowly to short. Ali Saya gets it to first in time this time. Officiated all the sports. Again, pretty well hit to the outfield, to the corner, and that one's going to go to the gap in right center. JT Benson has just tied this game to all here in the sixth. Well, a little bit of an inside-out swing. The ball had some spin on it that's going to make it carry a little bit more. And out to the right center field gap is a little bit shorter spot. Just barely made it out. Down and in. He goes inside out to get it. And just barely coming up short. The wind just blew Gunther's hat off, and he throws the pitch anyway, gets the strikeout, and that'll end the inning. How about that? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. A pitcher losing his hat in the windup, and he still gets the strikeout. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's not a 3-3-6 <laughs> number. Wene has a leadoff single here in the sixth. Swing and a miss, but that strike three. First base is occupied, so Reinish cannot advance. But Wene still grooves into second. I did. Off the glove of the pitcher, Stark. Can he recover in time? Yes, what a play. Wene advances over to third, but that's a big second out here in this sixth inning. 3-2. Up the middle. Diving stop, Ali Saya, but he can't get the throw to first in time, and Wake Forest leads. Wene comes across as Nelson shows his explosiveness bolting down that line. Well, first of all, another terrific play by Ali Saya. Look how quickly he popped up to his feet, but Cam Nelson from the left-hand side, one of the fastest runners on the Wake Forest team. Ten runs in the series so far. There goes Nelson. Pitches inside. Throw is low, and Nelson is safe. Hey, everyone. Wheels here. The red you see on screen is appearing because the stadium lost power at this point, and the remainder of the game was played without a live stream. Wake Forest took a 3-2 lead into the seventh inning, but Louisville responded with a couple of run-scoring singles that combined to drive in three, which gave them a 5-3 lead through seven. A couple of walks brought the go-ahead run to the plate for Wake Forest in the eighth with two outs, but they were stranded after a five-pitch strikeout. With two on and two outs in the top of the ninth, a costly E6 ended up bringing in two insurance runs for Louisville, who was able to navigate around two free base runners in the bottom of the ninth to close out a 7-3 win and salvage the final game of the series. I know this wasn't the ideal way to bring you coverage of the remainder of the game, so I do thank you all for watching the rest of the video. I hope you all have a great day, and enjoy the rest of the many videos that will be coming out tonight. Mm -hmm.